Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about osteoporosis. So osteoporosis is a medical condition where the bones become brittle or they have a low bone mass which makes them more susceptible to fracture. The diagram on the right shows the differences between healthy skeletal structure and the appearance of bone when someone is afflicted with osteoporosis. So you can see the overall density of the bone structure has significantly reduced, the actual particles are more spaced out, the overall volume of the bone has reduced, and that is the main difference. The etiology or the causes of osteoporosis are various, but the most common cause is gonadal steroid deficiency. So this is most commonly seen in women, especially after menopause when estrogen levels are decreased, and it's more common in men as they get older. Other causes of osteoporosis include corticosteroid use, immobilization, alcohol abuse, smoking, calcium deficiency, and vitamin D deficiency. Without going into too much detail on the specifics of each cause of osteoporosis, the overall idea is that the action of osteoclasts is much greater in comparison to osteoblasts. So here we have a diagram of an osteoclast and it's responsible for absorbing bone. Here is an osteoblast which is responsible for the formation of bone. So in all of these cases, the action of osteoclast is much more in comparison to osteoblasts, so the overall effect is reduction in bone volume. The clinical manifestations of osteoporosis, it's usually asymptomatic until fractures occur, so it's usually noticed on an x-ray of something uh, completely separate or when a fracture occurs and an x-ray is taken osteoporosis is then noted and the typical osteoporotic fractures include the hips wrist and the spine the diagnosis of osteoporosis is done via dual energy x-ray absorptiometry or dxa and the treatment of osteoporosis initially depends on the cause itself but some of the treatment options include calcium supplementation vitamin D supplementation and these medications which you can see here so we have alendronate, resendronate, calcitonin and raloxifene these two here directly inhibit the action of osteoclasts and we also have parathyroid hormone here as well which is the only current agent which can actually stimulate bone formation and other treatment options for osteoporosis include raloxifene, denosumab and calcitonin.